The year is 2019, and most of the human inhabitants of Earth are living on other planets. Welcome to the world of the Blade Runner. Westwood Studios, creators of the Command and Conquer series, spent several years writing this long-awaited adventure game based on the novel by Philip K. Dick and the movie directed by Ridley Scott. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business thriving, night always beautiful. The game is not based on the film. It's, it happens in the world of the film. And some of the characters are directly from the film. In fact, the storyline is concurrent with the film's storyline. To make the game really feel like the film, the designers brought in members of the original movie cast to act out sections of the story. Their movements were recorded using motion capture cameras. The data from these was then translated into computer-generated action. To complete Blade Runner's realistic feel, the actors recorded a 700-page script and their faces were scanned into a computer. Now the virtual actors looked and sounded like the characters from the film. Indulge me. In the game, you play a novice Blade Runner called McCoy, whose job is to track down non-human so-called replicants who may be responsible for a series of violent crimes. Your point-and-click search for clues begins in Run Sitter's Animal Store. I believe this is the disc from last night. Peachy. Using your Esper Photo Enhancer, you can zoom in on previously hidden parts of an image. Everything you discover during the game is stored in your personal computer and used in the relevant place without the need for a command. Your mood may well affect the response you get from witnesses as you ask questions and search for evidence, so choose carefully. Excuse me. Deliveries to rare. LPD, I got a couple of questions. Every character has their own set of goals and actions. They go about them uh, to the best of their ability, and you're really a catalyst for action and not the only catalyst for action. Using tools like the VK test, you must find out whether each of your suspects is human or replicant. By combining puzzle solving with extremely fast moving mouse clicking action, Blade Runner feels and looks unlike any other game of its kind. The replicants you have to catch may be any of the characters you meet, and as the game is non-linear, you can decide either to side with them or terminate them. Each time you play, it'll be different. With 13 possible endings to the game, Blade Runner is as breathtaking on the small screen as the movie was on the big one.